Hey guys, thank you for checking this video out. Uh, it's going to be kind of a rant, but before you buy hatching eggs um, that are shipped, you need to understand what fertility is and what that means to both the producer and to yourself. Now, as far as you're concerned, and when I'm buying eggs, I want every one of those eggs to hatch. That's great, but it's not going to happen. I've bought hundreds and hundreds of dozens of hatching eggs. I've had 80% hatch rate, 100% hatch rate, and a lot of 0% hatch rate. And it has, I've never gone back on the producer and said, your eggs weren't fertile. Because I have no way to know. And we're going to explain that in just a few minutes. Um, the reason I'm doing this is this morning... I got some feedback on eBay. It says the great packaging sent out immediately kind of thing, zero hatch rate, negative feedback. What did I have to do with that? And nothing. I did my job perfectly. Um, I don't know what this person did once the eggs got there. I don't know what happened to the eggs between here and there. I can't be responsible for that. They may have stuck them in an incubator at 102 degrees to warm them up. I don't know. You know, you think you're awesome, that you're the, the best incubator, uh, you know, in, in the country and you don't make mistakes. Well, guess what? That, that you're not. Um, I'm not. I make lots of mistakes. Um, and if I do make a mistake and I ship eggs that are, I don't know, I've, I've never sh shipped any eggs that I knew weren't fertile. I have shipped eggs that, um... Are fragile uh, more fragile than others I'll give you an example death layers they are the reason death layers are so expensive is because it is so hard to get eggs to develop not that they're not fertile they are fertile and we'll get into that so first off if you buy eggs from me and you leave feedback based on fertility that it cannot be checked the only way you can check fertility is before you put them in the incubator we're not talking about what develops, fertility. Um, I'm going to report you to eBay and because that's not the deal. Do not buy eggs from me if you're going to try to leave feedback on how productive you are once you got them. My job is to get you eggs to your, you know, boxed up and to the post office. Don't leave me. Don't leave feedback on how the post office threw them on the ground. Don't leave me feedback on how they were in the mail for 13 days. Give me a, an email. Give me a call, and mo more than likely, I'm going to send you out some more eggs. You know, I, I want you to be happy. I'm not in this to squeeze every penny out of somebody. If I was, I sure wouldn't be in this business. Yeah, you know, I'd be a banker or something like that. Um. So. Uh, Let's just start. How do I determine fertility of the eggs I sell? The first thing is I put them in my incubator and if I get an 80, 90% hatch rate, those are fertile eggs. If I go through and I, there's something developed in every single one of them, those are fertile eggs. Did they hatch? Maybe not. We have some breeds here that are just notorious for aborting halfway through. I can get blood rings, I, I can get, as anyway. So that's how I determine it. I do not sell any eggs that I have not hatched chicks from. I try to put chicks in every month, or eggs in every month, and to determine fertility. Some months are better than others. If we have a really warm January, we have good hatch rates. If we have a really cold January, we have really poor hatch rates. I don't understand it, people up north, it doesn't seem to affect them like it does down here. Anyway, second thing is, before I even put eggs in the incubator, I check the egg visually. You can't look at the outside of the egg. You have to crack the egg open and you have to check what some people call the germinal disc, the blastoderm, or the blasca disc. Excuse my language. It is essentially that little bullseye on the yolk. Now, if you don't have a bullseye, if you just have a little white dot, that egg will not develop. But if you have a little white dot with a ring around it, like looks like a little halo, 
that is a fertile egg, okay? So that's how you check. That's how I check. You cannot check for this after you put them in the incubator. I have people all the time said, you know, only four of the eggs were, ha were fertile. I go, no, no, that's not quite right. I understand where you're coming from, only four developed. Well, I opened them up and there was no bullseye on them. That bullseye goes away under heat and humidity, under incubation, in two to six days, normally under four. So if you're checking after that, it won't be there, period. You cannot use that. If you still have a bullseye on your eggs after six days, I want to know about it. I've heard of it. I've never seen it. Send me some pictures. Send me some video of it. Okay? So you can't go 22 days, 24 days, say I left them in there a little longer because I wanted to make sure they were going to hatch. You can't go 18 days. You can't go any time after two to six days and find that little bullseye. Okay? You cannot check fertility without opening up an egg. Period. You know, I can't tell you that egg is fertile and will develop without opening it up. And then it won't develop. All I can tell you is the eggs I'm putting in the incubator from that batch or from these hens, that rooster, are developing. The end. Alright, now why didn't your eggs hatch? I have no idea. Did you let them rest when you got them home? You know, how were the egg cell, the, you know, the, the air cells in it? Most people can't tell me. They don't know what that is. Was it detached and just rolling around? Were they frozen in transit? You know, if they're shipped on an airplane, they could have very easily been frozen before they ever got to you. Did they get cooked if it's summertime? Oh my, I have eggs come to me in the summer that are cooked. When I crack them open, I generally get a dozen eggs in and I sacrifice one to take a look. And they're partially cooked. Okay. It happens. High temperatures. Were they left in the sun? Did the male person leave them out in the sun? Were they scrambled? Just shaken? Were they roughly handled? Um any number of things the biggest thing is did they get x-rayed do you know the fastest way to get something x-rayed at the post office is to put do not x-ray on it i mean think about it why don't they want this x-ray all right i put it on there anyway but they will x-ray them they just microwaved your eggs they're not gonna hatch okay Unless you want me to wrap them in some aluminum foil, and then they're really going to cook. And then once you get them, and once you get them in your incubator, are you sure you did everything perfectly? Just because your duck eggs hatched, or your eggs hatched, did you do everything with these? You know, did your power flicker? Did the humidity go up? Um, I don't know. I cannot be responsible for that. And you can't tell me that those eggs weren't fertile. All right, sorry if this is a rant, but don't buy eggs shipped to you for hatching if you don't understand what fertility is and how it works. You know, the other thing is, if there's any development at all, that egg was fertile. I don't care if you get 12 blood rings out of your 12 eggs. Those were fertile eggs. Something went wrong during incubation. Okay, there again, there's some breeds that are notorious for this. Okay, so just while we're on that again, death layers, vor work to a certain extent, spart hanas, Swedish black hens, um, and your my my lavender americanas at least. Uh, they're not the best for shipping. I get great hatch rates here. And occasionally I will send a dozen eggs to myself through the mail and see what happens. 
and I get the same hatch rate as you guys. You get three out of a dozen, four out of a dozen, eight out of a dozen, and sometimes zero. So uh, just let's be realistic about your expectations. Um, if you have a uh, issue, if you have a problem, contact me. Um, you can get me through um, my eBay. You can get us through cottonvillebcompany.com. You can reach me at farmdad01 at gmail. You can reach me through my uh, YouTube where this video will be posted. Please watch this video before you buy eggs, whether it's from me or anybody else. So, uh, you know, I encourage you. It's, it's a great hobby. It's um, a great experience. It is not guaranteed. Just plain and simple, it's not guaranteed. So, anyway, give me a call. If I can help, I will. Sorry if this came off a little angry. It's just some days I get fed up. Um, but, again, if this person would have contacted me before they left feedback, and even now, if they said, hey, none of these eggs hatched, I'll walk them through this. Did you do this, this, and this? And I'm still going to send them some eggs out. If they'll cover the shipping, and you're talking about $60 a dozen eggs, I'm going to send them $60 a dozen eggs for $15 shipping. They'll be all set up. Anyway, sorry this went so long. Good luck with your incubation. Good luck with your poultry. And uh, if I can be any help, or if you just want to tell me what a nutcase I am, I'll be here for that. Thank you all again.